This is K-Pop Sunday, brought to you by K-Pop Sunday before you have to go back to work on Monday. We are your hosts, Onyx, Min, and JR. Welcome to episode 7. Oh my god, guys, it's been so long since I've seen you. <laughs> are you ready for the very first episode of 2020? Um, I'm hype. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about our hopes and dreams for the new year of K-Pop. By the way, just a small disclaimer, this episode is recorded in the past. So if something we say got confirmed or completely denied, like, yesterday? We don't know. We're from the past. So let's start off easy with who do y'all want to see make a comeback in 2020? Would y'all believe it? Guess who I want to make a comeback this year? H.O.T.? Correct. Ooh. <laughs> I would love to see what they could do now. Just yeah. when was their last comeback? Two thousand. Oh my goodness. With Outside <laughs> Castle, like Outside Castle was a masterpiece. Which Jr. I have a certain place that you know about where I've already written about why Outside Castle is a masterpiece that you should check out if you haven't already. <clears throat> Self promotion. But um, <laughs> no, I, I just I would love for H.O.T. to come back and make new music strictly because they're so much older. now now, and I would like to hear if they've gotten wiser and deeper. This I, this is going to sound really mean, but I want to hear like, were they just deep as a group just because oh, that's what SM produced us to be like? Or if they genuinely are still serious about the same social issues, or even more so now, because there are more social issues that have come up in recent years. I would love to hear that. So I would really like to hear if they would tackle stuff like the environment they never tackled stuff outside of Korea. It was always just people in Korea focus on Korea. So I'm not really expecting them to tackle Korea's views on international level. Just them focus on Korea. I would love to hear HOT have a comeback with a song that's geared towards encouraging Korean idols. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's what I would really like to hear out of them. Do you think they have a? There's a bigger chance that they will come back this year specifically because they've been promoting kind of on and off like they had a concert recently and all that the problem with hot is that ownership of hot is split right by many people like hot is very much split because of that and that's part of the reason why it took so long for them to get together for the concert. Like, the main reason why the concert took so long was because some of the members were scared that the members wouldn't want to assemble, that it was just like, oh, it's just me who is gonna show up. Which is the reason why when they did all five show up and they were like, yeah, I want to be together, that it was so shocking and such a big moment for them. But also because some of the members genuinely thought that they couldn't do anymore. Like, them getting ownership of the name back, they've gotten organized with merch they produced merch like they now have their own light stick and it's like right. every single one of the members is capable of producing music now like they yeah. were originally back in the day but now that they like one of them owns a company that produces music another one is a creative director he junes he's that he exists <laughs> he uh, technically does have a company and he can produce music but he chooses not to a lot of times i would love to see all of hot's legal troubles to finally be over and for them to say hey we can finally get back together officially and make new music i would love for them to have a jackie's moment where they can do it i would love that mm -hmm. so much i guess we'll have to see yeah yeah onyx this is not a diss but I think you in every single episode we've made <clears throat> have had a monologue about HOT. <laughs> um that's because the world runs around HOT catch up. Sure. <laughs> I hope Sai makes a comeback. Sai needs to make music again. I miss him. It's been a he's while. Yeah. yeah. But also though, I don't know how much of it is that he's busy with his company or his life or whatever and how much of it is that he's like, you know what, just for a little while I'd like to stand back. Yeah. Because I feel like that's what JYP does. JYP. Where... JYP is a whole... It's oh, like, I know, that's a whole other... No, 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 no. <laughs> I feel like as in like JYP, he makes music all the time, but while he's making it, he thinks, oh, this would be great for this person or oh I need to sit on this or oh I want to do this for right. me I feel like he's got so much in his head and then he tries to get down in his fingers and then he just like parses it out eventually <laughs> and that's the reason why like it's not him releasing all the time because he just gives it everywhere it's like my group you have this you have this would you like this <laughs> 
I'm taking it, but I would like to see a comeback too. Just I would just like to see a comeback that is not... There was a while where he, after Gangnam Style, where like he kind of tried to repeat that kind of formula with Well, I think he felt and, like he had to. Yeah, yeah exactly. In order and I, to and keep I really them. hated that. Yeah, and I, I really feel like... I really hope that he releases something far different. Like Gangnam Style, like in context, was so much better. Was his last comeback New Face? I think so. That would that sounds about right, yeah. It's kind of the yeah. same thing that Moomoo Land had to do when they did right. Boom Boom. Boom, yeah. And then they did Bang right after. That's basically just yeah. the same song. Which is weird because I personally prefer Bam. I heard a lot like, of people I didn't say like that. the music video, but yeah. I like, and I don't understand why. I like both. I think they're great. I'm just glad Momo Land finally got some attention. Recognition, yeah. No, they, d- yeah. they they were one of those groups where it's like, I kept hearing about, but I never saw anything from them. So I'm like, ooh, they're probably going to fizzle out real soon. But then they released I'm So Hot last year too, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay, scared. so then, hey, that was something I should have added to my 2019 list. Um, I did like I'm So Hot because it sounded very different. It's like, okay, this is something that I'm interested from that group, but it's not in that same vein of Boom Boom or Bam. So I liked it. Yeah. Do you guys only have two? people you want to come back no the uh i would oh, love okay. to see jackie's release some new music i'd love to see them with some high energy like pom saint ponsa or coming back but new i'd love to see something like that right. especially after and one released i'm on fire like i would love to see something with that energy honestly i would love to see walry and ladies code release something new they like they just had a release by ladies code just did at the time of recording this but like after the rain i would just wasn't really impressed with the stuff they released after that. The rain really, really set the bar for me Mm because it was so good. I'd love to see BTS come out with more music because this year they did not come out with much, especially since we were so well fed the year before where we had two full albums. I honestly understood why we didn't get as much, but I just loved those two full albums so much that I would love to see some more. But JR, you haven't said anyone. (laughs) I have a few. I have a few here. Oh, and also um, Blackpink. I'd love to see Blackpink actually make... Which I think they were confirmed to have a comeback. Well, allegedly. <laughs> I, well, I know. You never know with YG. Well, any company nowadays, I feel like, oh yeah, they're going to come out with this and then it doesn't happen yeah. and we're like, you announced this and they're like, just kidding. You made it up. Yeah. Ha ha. I will start small and then we can go on from there. But I would like Pentagon to have a comeback and hopefully that comeback will bring their first win because... I just, it's so shocking to me. They, like, Shine, obviously, was really big, but the popularity came after they were done promoting, as far as I know. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, they never got their dues from that, unfortunately. I feel like a lot of people agree that Pentagon is capable of releasing, like, a lot of good and interesting and original stuff. Oh, definitely. Yeah. They're one of those groups where it's like, what do you mean they haven't won an award yet? I know. It's unfortunate. One of the things that's kind of shocking with researching history is like you look at what are the songs that like even years later people quote or want to sing or love and it's so incredible how many of those songs never received like an award or recognition oh yeah and it's like why that one tame and song move that one yeah. did not get anything which was shocking it's iconic both move and shine really became staples of like k-pop random dance games like mm-hmm. pretty right, much yeah. everyone i've gone to both those songs have been played and it's pretty yeah. amazing <laughs> It's great. I just want Pentagon to have a first win. No, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I almost feel like that there should be like an, okay, this is overdue. Like there should be like <laughs> oh, some yeah. sort of subcategory for, we're just handing you an award because you got a fabulous discography and it's not recognized and that's not right. <laughs> Here, you need to have this on your wall so that other people need to see something shiny. <laughs> we mm. appreciate you. <laughs> Yeah, like, no, exactly. you're grand. What are you doing without an award? This is wrong. Yeah. And I was actually talking to a friend about if Pentagon will have a comeback because they're still technically on tour and they will be through December. Hmm. And we were just kind of trying to figure out all of that because Jin Ho, the oldest member, is going to probably have to enlist this coming year. So we were trying to, like, figure out what time he would have to go in and all that. And I was saying that I would really hope that they would have a comeback similar to their song Violet that came out a couple years back it's just a really like midwinter vibe type thing so that's my hope for them we'll see what happens though yeah i feel like that's something that we have to factor in more nowadays than previously is tours 
Yeah, because they've been on tour since May, I think, or something like that. Yeah, there's some artists that's like, you they're having longer tours, which, to be fair, is a good thing because it shows that, you know, like, their music has spread, grand, but it also is kind of like, what? Mm -hmm. But also, though, I think that part of the reason why I still am kind of confused by is that, once again, old person here. I think about the days when uh, K-pop artists would release, like, one album a year, and they would promote that throughout the year. Like, they would pull out a track a couple months later and do a music video on it, go on tour for a bit, come back, another song, come back, then do the album, get it ready, and released around the next year. That's also why it's kind of weird to me. It's like, well, yeah, they also have so many more fans in so many far places than it used to be. So that's part of it. Like, if a group is based in Seoul, going around Korea is not that much of a trip. It doesn't take you a week to drive from Seoul to Busan. Oh, yeah. Unless you're unless you're going on a giant tour of hitting every place along Korea as you can. Like, a general, like, drive from, like, California to Texas. <laughs> That'll take you a couple days. Yeah. That's also just kind of understanding how much K-pop is spread compared to what it used to be to where now it's like, hey, and you go to the US. Because I think that's also kind of cute about K-pop is that it's gone from in Korea to, okay, in Japan to, okay, China, okay, all around East Asia, okay, the US, some spots, okay, the world. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. So congratulations to Pentagon for being so popular everywhere, but Amen. more. That's what we, I want to hear. We demand more. <laughs> Hand it over. I love to see another brown-eyed girls come back, though they're probably not going to come back in like five more years. But <laughs> yeah. I'd love they're to see that. It. They're wonderful. They're cooking. <laughs> They got something going. You won't find yeah. out about it for a while, so haha. -ha. Speaking of girl group comebacks, I want A Pink to come back because oh, yeah, it I will be yeah. a year since their last comeback by the time this comes out. <laughs> and I have not heard anything about a group comeback, which is very sad to me because I just love their music. <sighs> um, so not to be that person, but uh, when I saw the Rainbow 10th Anniversary song, all I could think of was comeback. Oh, back. <laughs> like, I, I mainly liked them for their debut stuff, but they really are very supportive of each other, and they're all very talented, and so many people miss them. But I'm worried that if they do have a comeback, then it's going to flop. That's, a, that's a kind of the scary thing with wanting an artist to come back who's older, is that you worry that if they do it at the wrong time, that it will go under and then it will not succeed. And it's going to be chalked up to, oh, it was a bad release and nobody wanted it instead of, no, it was just bad timing. Because yeah. like, there are like seasons, I feel like. There's like times when all the big groups aren't releasing stuff and then smaller groups have a chance to win number ones and stuff like that. But, boy, you really got to time it. And sometimes, like, you really think, oh, well, I have all these fans previously that they would support me now. No, they'll bail on you at the last minute. Once again, with Brown Eyed Girls taking that long, because I wonder if that might have been a concern for them. Because I know with, who was it? It's not Jackie's. There's some other group who they've talked about that being a huge concern on when they release stuff. Like, they try to avoid releasing stuff around current groups just because they don't want to be deflated balloons, basically. That's not how they worded it. That's just how I'm wording it. That they don't want... <laughs> to be proven right that nobody wanted them to come back so mm -hmm. we're also so excited to see what sunmi does next year and ciel does next year and dara i think is gonna have a comeback boom is hopefully gonna have a comeback all right dara and bomb are gonna have a duet soon coming out right i think i so. think i saw something about that so that'll be cool to see. Who knows what CL is going to produce and release next year. She's got a wide spectrum of people she rubs elbows with that I would love to see. Like, guess who she's doing a comeback with? Nope, it's not Dara. It's Yesung. <laughs> <laughs> like, that'll I would a... love like, just like some like, oh, I was not expecting that. I would love for CL to pull something like that. And that would, that seems like a real CL move, mm -hmm. doing something like that. So I just... That would be interesting. I just, I think she could really do something unexpected. But I want Sam Kim, Rad Museum, and Dean to release new music. Because it's been quite a long time for all three of them since they came out with EPs or albums or anything like that. So that would be something I'm looking out for. 
but <laughs> we will see. So as much as I would love Narajo, like they've really released some fire stuff, especially like Shower was really awesome. And what they did coming into the show was really funny. That one time where he like set up like a little mini shower and then yeah. the other members hosed him off. That was pretty funny. And like poor dude was so embarrassed, but it's like, dude, you were peak comedy. Like you do you, <laughs> like you were the most interesting person on this, in on this red carpet coming into the show today. No one can top you. <laughs> Fabulous. And I love that how like the new member just rolls with it. Like he knows how weird Nonajo was when he joined. So like he's just full on both feet stepped into it. I love it. So this is really unlikely, but I would love to see. It's been over 10 years since they first talked about it, but I would love to see Mooney June and Jae Jung finally do a collab together. They've been talking about Ooh. it since 2004. They've been talking about it for so long. And even as of last year, Jae Jung did a live show and he was mentioning how he said, yeah, even as of this year, we're still talking about doing it. We still want to do it. And That would be really cool. But both of them love rock music and both of them have a very weird sense of humor. I've always thought that if they would collab, it would be like Norajo. So what I'm saying is I would love to see collab between Norajo, Jae Jung, and Moon Hee Joon. I would love to see that. It would be chaotic and it's so unlikely. But I I would love it. And it's only me. <laughs> only only I would look forward to it. But I feel like it would, it, you know, if there's any year when it'd be time to do it, um, I just hope it'd be as soon as possible. So I'm asking for 2020, please. 2019 left me hanging. So 2020, please come through. I beg you. This is just me. Nobody else asked for this. So this is the last self-serving thing, I promise. I just want Kongta to come back. Like his, he always just does like romantic, ballad stuff. No, thank you. I want him to come back being self-aware of how much of a drama llama he is and just owning it. I just want that. It's not going to happen. Just do it, Kongta. It's time. <laughs> Are there any, you can't say looking forward to because nobody's looking forward to this, no. but there are going to be enlistments this year, uh, mostly of idols born in 1992. So who are some people that you know are enlisting and you're sad to see go? I don't know anything about boy groups, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I'm a real fan. <sighs> I heard about like all the 90 liners leaving and then I hear about 1992 and I'm like poor 1991 no one give no one cares <laughs> like no one's brought that up it, I've only heard about 1990 and 1992 I can't think of anyone born in 91 yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't know if it's because no one cares or if there's just not anyone we know. Like, if you're an idol that's in 1991 liner and you felt kind of left out because people immediately skipped you and went to 1992, I still love you. I don't know who you are, but I care. And I hope you come back safely and you have an okay time. <laughs> I don't know if, if I should say you have a grand time, you have a safe time, you have a happy time, you have a restful time. I don't think that those are the words for it. But yeah. Just you have a time and you come back and yeah. All right. Well, I have a few that I'm <laughs> okay. Let, I'm let sad it to see see go. So obviously Pentagon's Jinho and Flying's Sunghyup is going to be enlisting. So that'll be sad. I think it's going to be hilarious. I mean, yeah, but we're going to be missing our leader for okay. Okay, a year but here's why I think it's going to be hilarious because the baby he already finished his military time. <laughs> it's and true. I just. I it's just true. think that the interactions that they can make out of it are going to be hilarious. Where it's the baby yeah, who's already done his time and great. is giving advice to the big brother <laughs> who's like basically coddled him this whole time. I just think it's going to be so funny. I'm excited for that. That's true. I didn't think of that. I just so. show us that whole drama. Show us that hole in the middle. The big elephant in the room is BTS has been confirmed for enlistment. I'm What I'm really hoping is with Jim going into the military, I want to see the drama hole that it leaves. Just because <laughs> mainly with Big Hit, I really want there to be like a whole big shakeup because I'm, I'm kind of salty about how Big Hit treats Jin, in my opinion. With him before being an idol, he was into acting and how he's gotten jacked. Like, you really trying to tell me that there's no dramas? Really? Mm -mm. Speaking of that, I hope he has a solo song because that's been a trend recently with idols releasing solo songs before they go into enlistment. So I'd be a big fan of that because I was a fan of his solo song off of the Wings album, I believe it was, Awake. Yeah. So yeah. I think that would be cool. I, did you like the other one? Did he have another yeah. solo? 
N- well, what no, no, no. I, I after know. Wings, yeah. It's on the same one as Idol. Oh, see, I, I've i kind of dropped off of their releases, so I'm not a huge... Epiphany. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. so good. I remember yeah. really liking it. I haven't listened to it too much, though. So I listened to it too much, so... <laughs> So, like, I would love for him to have a comeback song, but more importantly, I would love for him to have a comeback, not a comeback, like a goodbye, like, drama skit or something or show. Just like a short film. Like, let him be in a short film. Yeah, like a goodbye or something that's kind of like, and you're gonna miss me while I'm gone sort of thing. I like, (laughs) I want him to be, he's known in the, like, the fandom, like, jokingly, they're like, oh, he's so dramatic as with that. But I want it to be something that, like, Big Hit has a headache over. Something lasting. <laughs> I I just I demand oh, I like I just funny. want drama from him. Do it, boy. I want some tears. That would be just sad. It's always sad when they enlist. I mean, it's a short yeah. time actually, but no, when yeah, it actually but, happens. Well, and also like when you're around someone every day for so much, and then suddenly they're gone. Like there is that hole. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I don't wake up and see them at the breakfast table anymore. Yeah. And going off of that, since. Jin is going to be gone. That means there's slowly going to be other members enlisting too. So the subunits that will come out of BTS, I'm really excited to see what happens there and who they put together and stuff like that. Yes. I think it'll be interesting. Hopefully. Do you guys have any controversial opinions on things that you want to happen or think is going to happen? Yes. I do. (laughs) Yeah. So I've got quite a few. Start with one. (laughs) Uh, So my first one is that I think there's going to be a change with several companies along the lines of stuff that have been complaints for a long time. I mainly talk about stuff like Blackpink not having much music being released in a single year or about other groups who their members wanted to pursue other interests and the company has blocked it. I really think that there's going to be some companies that are going to have a shakeup this year. I honestly think YG is going to manage to release one EP next year and that's going to be the entirety of what YG is going to produce next year. You're, I, oh. think that it's, I think it's going to be like Blackpink is going to get like you get two songs in January and then they'll sneak a remix in in December. See? You got more music. It's like everyone's like, it seems we all have thoughts about YG so I will <laughs> insert mine right here. I think there will be some big departures from yeah. the yeah. company in general. Possibly a Big Bang member. Maybe Lehigh. I don't know. But I mean, that's something that everybody talks about. When is this person leaving YG? And right. this past year in 2019, there were quite a few departures, which was not shocking given the current climate of YG Entertainment. It has led to some good good stuff. So Yeah. No, yeah, no it genuinely definitely. needed to happen. It was overdue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we'll see who else ends up walking the plank. <laughs> On a serious note, I would love to see Teddy leave. I feel like... <laughs> I'm actually a big Teddy fan, but I'm a Teddy fan of his early 2000s stuff. The best stuff he releases, in my opinion, is hip hop and just like doing like old school hip hop. And I feel like that's just what he does best. And with him becoming a producer, it's been, okay, this group, we want them to be more poppy. So you need to make something more poppy. And I feel like that's not in his wheelhouse. That's been sort of what he has to do. And I would just love for him to just go back to more hip hop stuff. And I think that that's what he does best and i Mm -hmm. don't know if i believe that he's pushed to do the stuff that a lot of people criticize but i would really like to see him do something like fly gentleman again yeah yeah I just, he's so talented, but I feel like he's had to release so much pop stuff that people forget why is he a producer? Why is he a big name? Why do people care? Over the past recent years, he's released so much stuff farther from where he started and what got him to be a big deal and beloved that people genuinely don't know what good stuff he can produce. What about you, Min? Any controversy in there? I sadly don't think that the current epidemic of deaths is gonna end which i really hope it does end but i do think more people are gonna disappear from either other parts of the entertainment industry in korea but i really hope i'm wrong (laughs) i hope and pray that i'm wrong (laughs) i really hope that many artists find what they actually want to do and they run towards it and they don't feel like they have to stay so kind of going along with 
uh, shakeups. I'm going to say it right now. I feel like Kongta or Boa is going to leave SME. I could be Ooh. very far off, but I feel like it's time. <laughs> Mainly because yeah. Kongta has been pulling back on his activities with them. Like, not ju- not just because of, like, the whole scandal last year, but also because of him questioning SM. But also, though, with Boa, though, the reason why I think Boa is just because she's been treated badly in recent years. They They've done a lot of pushing her to the side, and it's been kind of, like, noticeably public and it's like for one of your oldest and most beloved artists who is still technically active and is you know she's kind of a not really management position i think that she's more it's more in name than stuff but i would really like to see more respect towards her but i don't think she's gonna get it because she's older and from what we've heard over recent years with how sme is treating older artists i just really would like for boa to go somewhere where she's appreciated and obviously these are all our personal opinions like there's nothing to back up anything that we're saying this is just what we feel so keep that in mind (laughs) it also makes me think though about like how Conkta sold his shares last year too Mm-hmm. That's another thing that makes me think, hmm. And once again, he's not released something in a long time and then his release was canceled and it was going to be once again another ballad thing probably. I would just love to see him go somewhere else. Yeah. I would just love to see, especially Boa, but both of them though, I just don't feel like they get the respect they deserve in my opinion. In the same vein, maybe Psy and P Nation will take in a few more lost idols this coming year. Yeah. Which would be lovely. I, I want them to get a loving home. Please adopt. Yes, exactly. And it seems like everything's going pretty well there so far. Jesse had a comeback. Dawn and Kiana had comebacks. Crush has had two comebacks, I think, since he's joined them. So, yeah, it seems like a great place to be. If Boa or Kong to leaves, can Yu Young Jin go too? <laughs> he, he's the, uh, for those you are not aware about producers, if I'm remembering his name correctly, Correctly too, that would also help. He's the guy behind many of the hits SM artists have produced that have been about social issues. That's oh. been him. Like Aya, HOT's Aya, Super Junior's Don't Don, like 90% of in SM's discography that's been like serious criticism about society has been produced by him. So I would love to see, because we haven't really seen too much of him in recent years. So I'd love to see him do something. Do you guys who kind of follow the drama world have any TV shows and so on that you're anticipating? Yes. So a lot of idols are going to be in dramas this coming year. Infinite's L, 2PM's Taekyun, and You Kisses June are just three of the ones that I saw that are actually confirmed. And I don't know anything about the dramas that they are going to be in or if I'll be watching them, but I am open to it. So we will see with that. But the one that I for sure will be watching is called I'll Go To You When The Weather Is Nice, which is quite long, but I think that's a literal translation. So maybe that's why. <laughs> and I have no clue what it's about, but I don't care because I really like the cast that they have chosen so far. It's Pac Min Young and I have loved pretty much everything she's been in in recent years surprises so kang jun and i feel like a lot of people forget that the surprise members are idols because they haven't had a comeback in a very long time but so kang jun is an idol for those of you that did not know and also ej wook is in it and i'm really excited for that because up until recently i didn't know this but i have seen everything that he has been in and i've really enjoyed everything that he has been in so i'm really excited for that one what about you min I don't know. I heard in passing that Train to Busan is getting a follow-up called Train to Busan 2, so that will be interesting. I still have yet to actually watch Train to Busan, but I'm gonna watch it at some point, maybe. Same. I really want to see it. (laughs) Onyx, do you have anything? Honestly, no. I really fell off the bandwagon with watching dramas after... Yeah, the only one I really watched was Autumn in My Heart. That was the only one I watched last year. And that is definitely not recent. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh no, it's not. The year 2000. So. Wow. I do want to finish that whole, because I've seen Spring Waltz, I've seen Autumn of My Heart. I want to watch the next two, but I'm not paying attention to anything right now. Okay. I'm so behind on news and stuff I want to watch and music. I would like, though, more serious shows. Like, a couple years ago, I watched Voice, and I loved it so much. Like, that was so... To be fair, though, I mainly watch a lot of, like, romantic comedy dramas so it was such a huge departure for me and i also liked all that was a really good one with both of them star not star he's a side character um yesung was in both of those um (laughs) but i would love to see more serious shows like those those were really good like they genuinely made me angry while i was watching them like that's how good they were some more serious stuff please (laughs) not war stuff 
I don't like the war stuff, but societal questions. Yes. Yes, please. Who will debut or what kind of groups will debut? Does anyone have anything? I have because I oh, would okay. love to see more groups like Pungdunge or Crayon Pop or even more like upbeat pop trot groups. That would be amazing. I'd love to see that. Ooh, that would please be fun. let somebody debut like that. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like something I would enjoy. I would like to see what reiteration that Dr. Music does of Rania this time. <laughs> Every couple years they attempt it again. And they don't understand. It's not the girls that are the problem. It's Dr. Music. Just saying. What confirmed comebacks are there? Are there any confirmed comebacks? I don't know. No, not this um, time. In general, I feel like K-pop, they release information about comebacks really close to the actual comeback date so this is kind of a hard question to ask given that we are recording this in the past but recently monster x just announced that they're going to release an all english album and that's coming out in february i believe Ooh. so that'll be interesting and i'm excited to see what is on it because i know some of their already released english singles are going to be on it but there are also going to be some new music too so that's gonna be cool and also, I saw somewhere that I think Sorn said that CLC is going to have a full album, which I believe it will be their first album, their Good. first full album to be released. So I'm excited for that time. too. I know. They've been around for a while now. Yeah. Good for them. But yeah, that's all I've seen, at least, about mm. confirmed comebacks. Any other, like, K-pop related anticipations you guys have? Um, also, what I would like to see this year, JR, you could maybe back me up, hopefully. I would like to see <laughs> idols leveling lawsuits towards companies for two reasons. One, if the company does not follow the contract in utilizing them, if the contract included, hey, you're going to do such and such work uh, because mm -hmm. there's so many idols that like get nothing and then they waste away years. And especially if um, oh, there have been a couple artists who last year mentioned how, oh, I produced all this stuff. And instead the company said, well, because you're under us, I can give it to somebody else in this company. So then they wouldn't get anything. I'd like mm -hmm. to see idols go after companies who do that. I would also like to see, though, this year, I'd love to see a lot lawsuits from idols who are fired over false information and don't in attempt to investigate it. They just, okay, you're immediately fired. There have been certain companies that they've fired idols very quickly and tore up their contract and then it was revealed, oh, that's actually incorrect. Or if like they find out that, oh, it actually wasn't that big of a deal, reinstating them or something like that. They're just like, no, they're gone forever. Bye. Yeah. Almost unheard of to have an idol come back to their group after leaving it. Exactly. Which yeah. is unfortunate given the past year and all that has happened in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got one more and then we're done. Last one, I promise. So my prediction is that Jackies are going to break their contract and they're going to leave YGE. Mm. Why, you ask? Because they've got a better company lined up for them. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I want them. So the reason why I mentioned Kongta leaving, and if Jackies leaves uh, YGE, then they could all join J-Duck and Tony's company because that's what they've been... <laughs> angling for for the oh, last few years that would be interesting they've been very public about how they've been trying to dissuade all the other members to drop other companies and join their company they but the reason why they're doing it is because they want a massive super group of hot and jackies and they want a massive sleepover so i'm predicting that everyone's gonna leave their company and join tony and j duck's company because they've already got j1 <laughs> They've got J1, Tony, and J-Duck. So that's three. Three of ten. Three of eleven isn't... Well, eleven total, but now it's technically down to nine. So three out of nine is not bad. That's one third. Other members are already mm -hmm. ready to go. So everyone just leave. Join the group. We have one massive... <laughs> everyone group. just leave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> leave your company. Drop your contract right now and walk on over there. Oh and A, just because I think it would be hilarious... B, because I would love to see what they could create together. Because we kind of got that when they kind of had that giant collab 90s group. But third, because Jaduk and T Tony really want it. And you know what? I want their dream to come true. I support that. So do any of you have any hopes for this podcast? What do you want to do with this tiny little podcast we're doing? It depends on if technology works. And if you guys like what I'm cooking. That was very vague. <laughs> yeah, like, that was the vaguest comment. <laughs> um, I just, I would like things to happen, but I have to make it work, and I don't know how to make it work right now. So if I can figure it out, I would love to do it. That's still very vague. 
I'm hoping that we will manage to release episodes on time. Because we have managed it so far, so if we manage to do an entire year of episodes on time, that would be great. <laughs> I agree. That's yeah, a good true. that's a good hope. Yeah. <laughs> that nothing breaks and that we get everything out. Yeah, um I just hope we continue to grow. That we keep enjoying what we are doing. Yeah, this is not something that I ever thought I would be doing, so it's just really cool that I'm here at all. And I'm really thankful for you guys, and it's been fun. Yeah, it's really fun that we actually started this thing, because I also thought when we first started talking about this, it, and like... It was March, I think, or... Yeah, yeah March, February, February March. of 2019. We were like, I was like, that's never gonna happen. We're <laughs> not gonna do that. <laughs> Also consistently. <laughs> How consistent? Yeah, we've been we... really consistent. I've been, I was kind of expecting for us to drop the blog and this both. I was like, there's going to be no way. But then again, I remember that when we got through January, I'm like, wow, the whole month has been done. And then when we finished June post, I was like, that's half a year. We did half a yeah, year. It was, crazy. it was just, look what we've accomplished and that we still, it did not peter out. We just come up with more and more stuff and we're very supportive and listen to each other. Believe it or not, even though we argue a lot on this podcast and we interrupt each other a lot, when we're like typing <laughs> out new ideas, everyone's like, okay, show me. What are you thinking of? And everyone's like, okay, let's try it. Like everyone here is very supportive of each other and I love that and I think that's also what's gotten us to his point also it helps that all of us were thinking of doing the podcast yeah like I remember that when it was first proposed it's like oh I wasn't the only one you were thinking of it too that's so awesome <laughs> when I first got you two to join on the blog I low-key expected you to just quit like after three <laughs> months you would just be like no you gotta do this alone bro <laughs> Yeah, I'm thankful that you actually <laughs> stayed with me. Yeah. So I think it might be time to like round out this episode. Should we jump into the question of the day? Yes. And now on to the question of the day. In 2012, a Wall Street Journal article was released that stated it takes SM Entertainment on average this dollar amount to train an upcoming idol. Do you know how much it is? If you do, you can tweet us. But if not, come back next week for the answer. So we're changing it from post of the day, where we would talk about our blog post that came out that day. Now we're gonna look back on blog posts that have already come out from both of our blogs. So we're still gonna recommend you a song, but it's a song that came out a very long time ago. Today's first song recommendation is 410's single Y which came out in 2015. And also, today, in 1998, Gino Sean released the album The Real with the single What You Wanna Do, which is a very good song, and you should go listen to it. There's links in the show notes. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for listening to our first episode in 2020. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on your favorite listening platforms. You can find more of our content on our Twitter, at KpopSunbase, or on our Tumblr pages, which will be linked in the show notes. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Oh. Alex, say bye. <laughs> I can't find it. I was trying to look it up in Indonesian. I give up. Goodbye. Oh, my gosh. Bye. <laughs>